Guys, somebody explain to me what's going on with these passes and these and these skins. It's going completely crazy. How are we allowing this to happen? I mean, I'm looking at the new PUBG pass. I absolutely love PUBG, don't get me wrong. I think it's the best shooter. It's the most fun, most intense uh, BR and online shooter. But what's going on here is absolutely unacceptable. I mean, I'm watching this guy Dome um, talk about the, the current pass that's ongoing, and it's absolutely crazy. Like you have to buy a $40, there's a $15 pass, but there's a $40 pass, and you have to buy that pass and you have to play for like, I don't know, like 50 hours or something, or a or, or hundred hours or dozens of hours to reach a certain level. And after doing all of that, and, and ensuring you're doing every single mission every day, some of which might take you a very long time, some of which might be annoying, etc. Once you get all that done, you can barely afford to buy like one of those 2000 coin skins after paying, you know, 40, 50 bucks. And then if you want to buy something better, you got to add another few hundred bucks for just one skin and those skins don't even look nice they look like completely regular if you get one of those progressive skins and then you want to turn it into chroma you first have to be lucky enough to have the progressive skin matching the chroma skin which you got which is like you know 40 4, points and then you gotta combine those and then you gotta like pay i don't know how much money to to develop it into the chroma skin that you want because you need some blueprints etc I mean, besides the fact that it's extremely complicated i mean there it's it's the most predatory system i have ever seen in my whole life and i've been playing games for 30 years this is becoming unacceptable i mean people complain a lot about loot boxes uh, loot boxes can be fun you know if you want to spend a few bucks to open a box and then see what you get you want to gamble that's your right but this you know uh, uh, giving you the option to get like one skin and you have to pay like hundreds of dollars to get it and this is, has become has we, we've completely lost the plot here it's been becoming completely crazy and if we check jablo here pretty much the same i mean one one set that you want to buy for your character is like a thousand eight hundred platinum which is eighteen dollars and up to like three four thousand i don't know how much you know between twenty and forty dollars it's absolutely ridiculous it's really becoming abnormal and the problem is that it that's not the dev's fault I mean, if you want to open a business and people are willing to pay 10 times the price that something is worth, are you going to say no? You're going to take their money. They want to pay it. So be it. And the fact that it's still ongoing and that it's getting worse just means one thing. It means that players are, in fact, paying these prices. Because if they weren't, those prices would come down and they would change their, their whole strategy. But the fact that they're keeping up with it and continuing this kind of these kinds of strategies means that players are willing to go that far. They're willing to pay hundreds of dollars for a skin. So I don't really blame the devs and the publishers for this. I blame the player. Whoever's voting with their money for these things is making it get worse. Now, we can argue that, hey, everybody's free to do whatever they want with their money, and that's absolutely true. But we're also encouraging uh, these companies to get even more predatory, and people are following them even further into the depth of this of these systems but the worst part of it all is that you buy these skins you play a bit in the game and then that's it you can't even resell them like the advantage of a game like counter-strike is that you get these skins you pay them whatever thousands of dollars hundreds of dollars dozens of dollars and eventually once you're done playing with the game or once you're bored of that skin and when you want to change it you can put it on the steam market and sell it and very often you can actually make profit so you would have bought something for 10 20 50 dollars and you could possibly resell it for 200 300 i myself made over one hundred fifty thousand dollars trading skins on csgo having started with like 50 or 100 dollars in cash so i know how advantageous this can be and you end up not feeling like you threw your money completely away because in a way you can always get it back and you can trade that money for another skin or for another game etc but wouldn't it be wonderful if we could actually, in all games, own the actual skins that you buy? Because currently you're just licensing the skin to use and you are at the mercy of the company that's letting you use them. So we're buying these skins, we're using them in the game, even in CSGO where you can trade them, they can lock your account for no reason, absolutely no reason. In their TOS, Terms of Service, they say that we could close your account for absolutely no specific reason right they reserve the right to do that so you could be investing thousands of dollars into things that might be locked up one day and that's it so all these things can 
and will be solved but only if we demand it because the incumbent the publishers the the, de the developers of games are very happy with the way things are going how, how could they not be when they can sell you a skin that's like three thousand dollars or a thousand dollars or hundreds of dollars and people are just gonna buy them and then you know they'll sell you another skin all over again and you have no way of taking advantage of that besides like using them a bit in a game so we cannot expect these companies to want to change anything this is completely in their advantage and completely in our disadvantage. What we need is the ability to self-custody these skins, at least. If we are going to go and pay $100 or $200, we want to own these, not them still own it and we just have the right to use it for as long as they allow it. We want to actually own that skin. That gun I just bought, I want that skin to be completely mine. They cannot do anything about it. And when I'm done playing with it or I'm bored playing of it, I can always resell it to somebody else who wants to buy it and, and use it. So we absolutely need such a system like they have in CSGO, but on top of CSGO, we want to also have self-custody because with CSGO, you do not have self-custody. You cannot actually take ownership of, of the skins. We want to have ownership of those skins and we have to demand it. And anyway, how awesome would it be if you could actually buy digital games and be able to resell them when you're done playing with them because you could always do that with physical games that's why we love physical games and that's why people still prefer physical games on playstation xbox and so on on consoles because once they're done playing they can trade them in but now imagine you could do the same with digital you could buy games on steam and once you're done playing them finish the game you don't think you're going to play it again you could resell it to somebody else for half price right because it's your ownership you actually own the game you didn't just slice so this is a possibility but that's not going to happen unless us gamers demand it and they can do that with blockchain technology they can literally make digital games be like physical games in the sense that you will own the key to the game that you bought and you're free to do whatever you want with it it's yours you want to resell it you can resell it now obviously they are not going to want that because they want to sell as many as many copies as possible they'll even try to sell you multiple copies of the same game once on pc once on xbox and then a special edition on on whatever playstation etc obviously they're gonna want that but is that that's definitely not in your advantage it would be much more advantageous to you to buy the game and be able to use it anywhere we have to demand these things of the market and we do that by voting with our wallets and we do that by encouraging co tech companies that are actually working on these things like for example these games like shrapnel and the the dead zone the dead drop that's uh, being made by dr disrespect and so many others that take advantage of the blockchain technology a new technology that's going to be everywhere seamlessly eventually but we want that as soon as possible because we do want to own the skins so here in this game for example this company which is made out of 20 30 developers from the from the biggest games like call of duty and and whatnot they got together and they decided to make a, a their own fps that takes advantage of this blockchain technology where you'll be able to own everything from the game down to the skins down to absolutely anything that you create in the game that you buy in the game right everything you pay your hard-earned money for is yours and you can then take that thing use it as long as you want and if you decide you want to sell it you can resell it very often it might be for profit too because everything is limited so every single gun skin will be limited to let's say 5,000 or 10,000 and that's it never again will there be another one so if somebody else down the line wants that skin and you don't want to sell it, no matter what, they could offer you a lot more money than you paid for it. So regardless, this is an open market, a free market. This is how everything else functions. Why wouldn't it be the same in the digital world? Blockchain suddenly gave us this new layer of reality on top of the reality that we have, which is it made the digital real. It turns everything digital into something real because so far digital meant nothing right you could copy paste a hundred times a, a, a picture a hundred times a mp3 a video anything so having one certain video meant nothing but when you have the blockchain technology every single one has like a code linked to it and a pass and a creation day so it basically has provenance which means that it is unique and it cannot be copied the copy is automatically not the original and you can now do that it's basically literally like entering the matrix and i know there are people who refuse this concept for whatever reason i don't know why there are some people that do not like change but when change is good for you embrace it i mean the internet was called you know a scam and and a stupid thing that's going to go away and completely useless back in the 90s it was even illegal at some point in the united states i don't know if you guys know that look at what the internet became right so uh, new technologies are just come and and they take over and that's it like you cannot refuse ai 
AI and say AI is not good. AI is coming, whether we like it or not. Blockchain is coming, whether we like it or not. The only thing we're delaying is our own advantages gamer. We want to have custody of everything we buy. We want it all to be our own, to do whatever we want with it. So I guess this was my mini rant about all this. I cannot believe how far down this hole we went with the, with the skin business. And I sure hope that we embrace these new technologies to finally get our own freedom as gamers, our own independence, where every dollar we invest is an investment of our own and nobody can touch it, nobody can affect it, nobody can do anything with it. And we can always resell it for, for either profit, if some are into that, or just because you're bored of it and you want to get another skin or another game with that money. I mean, it's yours. You bought it. You should be able to do whatever you want with it. We've accepted complete abuse by the gaming industry and a lot have embraced that abuse based on how the skins are going and how much people are willing to pay for them. So it is really time to take the power into our own hand and to encourage, push all the new technologies and stop overpaying for all these skins and demand from the developers to give us self-custody of everything we pay for because it is ours at the end of the day. So inform yourself about all of this in your benefit. Look into these games like Walker World, like Shrapnel, like so many other ones that are coming out that might change the way digital ownership works. And you will be very happy about that for sure. Take care.